What is up, Koi family? Welcome back to the Jabby Koi channel. I'm a Chara Kirk, joined by Andrew Flash Gordon. Woohoo! We're carrying on with Deli Belly. This is part two. If you haven't watched part one, why don't you go ahead and like go watch that? Come back here. And uh, this is a cut down version of our reaction, so it's not the full watch along. If you want to watch the whole thing along with us, uncut, uninterrupted, you can do so on our Patreon page, patreoncom jabbykoi or right here on YouTube memberships. You will need to have your own copy of the film though we're watching this on netflix and yeah sync up with us and it's like watching it with your two new internet besties <sighs> all right you guys let's get into it hello vladimir it's sonia i got your message i want to ask you about the package you have to deliver you know actually i didn't but i gave it to a friend to deliver you are so fucking stupid <sighs> hello <laughs> hi miss sonia this is vladimir supervisor I'm calling to say sorry for his behavior. He's a very rude man, okay? You're right, you're right. I'll definitely take some action against him. Oh. Why don't you give me his address? I mean, uh, I'll have it picked up. Are you sure? No problem at all. <laughs> He's got a scary edge to him, but also yeah. a comedic as well. Yeah. And he sounds so nice on the phone. Yeah. You're like, sure, I'll give you my fiance's address. Yeah. Who is that? Yeah, who the fuck are you? Where are package? Kahan? Package? <laughs> oh, Ooh. damn. Ow. Just need package drop. Kya tha usse puch le. Mazak ho raha hai. No, 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 no. He, he's right. I had drop kya tha. Tu pehle kyun nahi bola? Sir, you didn't ask me. You gotta ask the right questions, though, right? Aapka friend drop karke gaya. Friend. Oh, he's got the thing now. Hey guys. Or aap honge photo journalist. Oh god. Are aap hi ka to intezar ho raha bhaiya. Kahan tha be? Ab aap apni tashreef ki dogri udhar parking mein laga do. What? Oh, I thought he dropped the gun. How many? Still in there. Okay. Oh, diamonds. I thought it was going to be drugs. That's what I was thinking, too. Khatam karo, bhai. Yep. What do you mean? Khatam karo? Why? You got everything you want? Oh, no! Oh, it's going to fall down. Oh, yeah, because uh, of the dancing. Yeah. Dance it's harder, girls. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Their whole apartment falling apart. Oh, oh. No. <laughs> This is the one time it's good to have a breaking down apartment. Yes. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa, that's awesome. Yeah. I love that. Oh. <laughs> He's oh man. Of course. It's like, uh, dude, you have a car. Why are you running after them? Oh yeah. Well, I guess they're going so slow. Oh my gosh. Oh no. Oh poor guy. Ooh. Ow. Ouch. That's why you chase people in your car, people. <laughs> what the hell just happened? Where the fuck are we going? Okay. She understands crazy. We can't just sell them and run. I mean, where do we... Sorry, auntie. Ah! So, these are the heroes of 30. This is the total of 90 lakh. 3 lakhs each. Look, man. This is my final offer. Take it, take it. No, 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 no. 90 lakhs. Like, yeah, that sounds good. Yeah. Although I'm almost convinced they might have been able to get more. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh. What? What? Who is it? 
They already sold the diamonds though. We have to take the diamonds back. We have to return the money and take the diamonds back. What? Take the money back? I I just quit my job. <laughs> ओ जो बंदे मेरे पास ना जी हीरे बेचने आए थे उन बेचारों को ना उसकी वैल्यू नहीं पता Somebody will die, okay? You understand? We were here half an hour ago. Nothing has changed. Hey, बारे, बारे के यार कुत्ते राम साथे को. Drag me halfway across the city. I only do that for people who know me, for friends, and in the middle of the fucking day. <laughs> This is the plan. You find a parking spot. Sit tight till you show up. Simple as that. It's like, guys, I have a concussion. How am I gonna help you? <laughs> okay, find a spot as close to as you can. Park there. Man, I'm dying in this. You know how hot this thing is. Ma'am, आप मुझे बता तो दीजिए आपको किस टाइप का आइटम देखना है. फिर मैं आपके चॉइस का बता दूँ. क्या बात है, ma'am? कुछ पसंद नहीं है? नहीं, बकवास है सब. अच्छा. तो आप मेरे साथ मेरे ऑफिस चले मैं आपको दिखाता हूँ मेरे पास ऐसी चीज है कि आपका दिल खुश हो जाएगा तू जरा वेट करेगी मैं आती हूँ मेरा सेट तैयार है ना या आज भी इंतजार कराने का इरादा है मैडम ऑरेंज जूस पहले आप ये देखिए सिर्फ आपके लिए ऐसी कारीगरी आपको कहीं और देखने को नहीं मिलेगी इसके साथ पायल भी है ना <laughs> मैंने तो सोचा भी नहीं था इतना लाजवाब होगा वैसे मैं पर्सनली सेठ जी का शुक्रिया अदा करना चाहता हूँ कहाँ है सेठ जी अंदर है मैं अभी बुलाती हूँ ड्राइवर Uh, She's, like, She's a lesbian. So what was all this about? Uh, Save his wife. She's not my wife. Wife to be, fiance, whatever. Oh. Two hours ago, time diya tha apke boyfriend ko. Ab dekhe aap se meri koi dushmani to hai nahi. Seven, six, five. Ow. <laughs> oh good so mad pehle hum charo niche jayenge tu lobby mein mil aur ye le ja nice that's smart that's smart main batata hu kaise hoga pehle to main ise marunga fir tum teeno ko aur jo mera zaman hai wo to mujhe mil hi jayega tere bahaduri dikhane se duniya badal jayegi मुझे बंदूक दिखा रहा है अब ऐ भोसड़ी के जानता है कब से धंधा कर रहा हूँ फ्रॉम जर्नलिस्ट टू टॉम क्रूज नेक्स्ट टाइम Can we please just go to fucking Disneyland? <laughs> <laughs> Can't go wrong at Disneyland except with the prices. Exactly. Heart was still beating. Oh damn. Oh they got him. Maybe they can keep the diamonds. Yeah. Oh, oh police officer too. The cops oh wow. Too. I was not expecting that. What about the Russian guy? Oh no, the cop. Oh. No! Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh -oh. oh no, what the hell? Oh, ow. Oh. 
What's going to happen with her ex? It's going to be like, I'm sorry. I saw you kissing that woman in the burqa. What are you doing? Following me around. So you won't deny it? Huh? Rajiv, enough. So you're not going to deny it, huh? Stop, damn it. Okay. Who the hell were you kissing? Who were you kissing? Me. Oh. She was kissing me. So you don't like, approve? huh? What about your fiance? What? I guess okay. you're given a free pass when you just save someone's life, maybe. See you? Or not. <laughs> <laughs> this guy. Oh. Yeah. I mean, you're laughing at a dude who's literally covered in blood and stuff. Like, what and do you expect? And has a gun at his waist. Yeah. So, Sonia called off the wedding, huh? No, I did. You called it off. You called it off. He called it off. So you don't mind if I ask Sonia out to dinner, right? <laughs> hey, what the hell? What the hell is this? The diamonds? No. The money. Oh, okay. <gasps> oh! Crazy bastard. <laughs> For a second, I thought when he was checking the bag, there was going to be shit in it. Oh, I don't no. know why. Flush but if you flush it down the toilet, make sure it goes down. Oh, <laughs> oh, he's keeping the film for oh dirty bastard! What? This is lovely. What? 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 He'll never know. Damn. That's a lot of money to never know you have. Ready? So he gets together with this lady. He's got to loosen up. I don't have that car anymore. Mm. Listen to VJ Sohaya's new song. I hate you like I love you. Uh -huh. Like I love you in brackets. Oh my god. He's crazy. Uh stop they're crazy. The car? They belong together. <laughs> stop the car. Break! Whoa, they're going for it. Oh, How was that for your for your very first Bollywood, I guess? Yeah, I mean, I guess it is a Bollywood movie, although uh, it's not your generic, like, regular style Bollywood no, film. I, I really enjoyed it. You know, Obviously, I know that they weren't hungover, but I really got that hangover feel, you know, from uh, from the first two hangover films. Yeah. Uh, just, like, retracing your steps from the bad guy's perspective and then them being chased down by the bad guys. Yeah. And then one of them shaving their head with Alan, like, in Hangover 2. So oh, I was, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was yeah. definitely getting a lot of hangover in a good way, but I think the thing that that uh, I really enjoyed the most about this film was that it really did a good job of balancing out the comedy, the humor, with yeah. the action, as well as we got a lot of good character moments as well. And I really appreciated the character interactions, the three of them together. They're so funny mm -hmm. together. They just really work together. Just from the opening beats, just where we <laughs> get the shot of the guy's ass crack. Um, and then we just get, you know, just really getting an understanding, just by, you know, just the contexture from their, apar uh, their apartment. Yeah. Like we really get an understanding of who these guys are in the first like 30 seconds and just what they're all about. And I just really appreciated that. And this film and like I said I, I was hooked really quickly and I thought the the storyline was actually really interesting I was really engaged right away yeah. I was very invested in these characters as well like I was actually there were moments where I was like I was really feeling scared for these guys and like obviously if I don't care for characters I'm like ah, I don't care if they yeah die. whatever but, yeah. yeah but no like I was actually I think my favorite character in this film was the villain though the main villain he, yeah like, he was really good yeah, he, he was yeah he, he was confident he was uh, he had a sarcastic yet scary tone to him yeah, like he could just dial it up to eleven in terms of scary, but at the same point, like in the very next line, he could 
like just make a really funny line too while at the same point being scary. I'm like, I don't think that's an easy thing to pull off as an actor is like, you know, infusing humor and scary within a like within a line or two of each other, but like actually really selling it. So yeah. I was like, I actually like, again, my favorite villains are always the kind where, you know, you understand their motivations, not always agree with what they're doing, but you understand their motivations yeah. and other ones are like, man, I don't like the, what this guy's doing, but damn, he is so cool. Even though it, he's, he's a, he's a villain, but like, damn, he's awesome. Well, yeah. And there's just something about the way that he's able to just be terrifying. He doesn't have to shout. He's not really yeah. doing anything too much, but there's just something about him that is so menacing in the silence and like just how quiet he is. And I feel like I've, I've watched this guy. I think it's his name is Vijay Raz. I think I've seen him in a few things before and, and he's always very good. But yeah, just, just as this gangster underworld criminal type, I was like, yeah, he was totally selling it. You remarking about the butt crack, actually, I just realized that was a bit of foreshadowing because it was the guy who got Had food go poisoning. Path, yeah, and he was going it, in the bathroom yeah, so often. And it was his butt crack. <laughs> Yeah. And it's just like a lot of these funny little things in, in the whole movie, you know, like just really setting the tone of what it's about. I had said, you know, Deli Belly, the title. I didn't realize that there would be quite as much poop <laughs> in the yeah, movie. Yeah, they really, they really hung on to that a lot. Yeah. Yeah, like they, they went for it with the with the whole like food poisoning, Deli Belly. Like it was really well done because I mean, it's all there in the title and it's just one of those quotes quirky comedies where it is just it's situational and a lot of the things just keep happening to the characters and it just keeps building and getting bigger and bigger and just snowballing until it's just completely out of control I agree with you and I actually thought too the action really surprised me as well I mean I wasn't expecting like a Mission Impossible type of action type yeah. of film but just from the action scenes we got the chase sequences in the car really well shot and really well choreographed like you could see the actors are actually doing those stunts from yeah. a lot of the time I like the way the camera was right in front of them as we were doing so we could really get a good look at the actors as they're doing these stunts and actually they came up with some clever action sequences I love too when they're on the bike and he's trying to hold the tie and then oh, he gets yeah. hit by the car I mean they had some really clever action sequences as well so and I, I really actually too I know we were talking about the character interactions earlier I really like Tashi's arc in this film like mm -hmm. you know I think the whole thing with him was I mean yeah he was a journalist but I mean the woman that he ended up uh, going out with at the end said to him like you just need to loosen up and I yeah. think that was his whole thing he just felt like he was in like a forced type of life where like he was just so unhappy with himself right and just, like, yeah I'm just going through the uh, life's motions and whatever and I'm just marrying this woman because whatever and yeah you know he, f he found you know he found happiness in the end I mean it took a crazy situation to get there yeah but I actually appreciated his arc in this film I thought it was actually really well earned and it is it's kind of like the uh, a classic I guess like I want to say bromance but I don't know if it's like a proper bromance but it's like a bro comedy you know where it's just like celebrating being friends I think the hangover was a was a good reference where it's yeah. just like a, a bunch of dudes who are friends getting up to shenanigans and then in the end he doesn't even go for the girl or the, the original girl that he was with with Sonia but he he ends up with the other lady I mean you could tell he didn't want to be with her when they were doing stuff in the bedroom and he's answering the phone like guys that's a, that's a no no when you're with yeah. the girl but I mean when he's answering the phone I'm like okay he's really not in love with this woman if he was he's not answering the phone there yeah so. no you're you're right yeah you don't answer the phone when you're uh you know doing that stuff. Yeah, I guess we should have known. I do want to say though, uh, and this is a thing that we talk about a lot on the channel, but the actor who played Vladimir uh, Kim Bodnia, he was actually good. So a lot of the time in Indian films, we notice that when they cast Caucasian or foreign or white actors, they tend to not be very good. But this time I was like, you know what? I'm not distracted by bad acting from the white actor. So good job casting. Yeah, no, when he had that uh, explosive <laughs> and, the, and like the distress on his face, I'm like, oh my goodness. Like he actually like played that up because again, at the end of the day, he's still an actor like doing that. But I like really felt for him in that yeah. moment. So like, he's like, no, 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 it's this number, it's this number. And like, I like thought he did a really good job. I mean, first we, when we first met him, he's just this really cocky, like, like don't look at me. 
me. Don't like arrogant type yeah. of uh, you know doing a messenger type, giving the messenger type of thing or courier, whatever you want to call. It. And then you know when he finds himself in a very life threatening situation, thought he really did a good job of just portraying uh, someone in in such a pretentious and scary situation. I mean, I've never, I can't really think of too many films where I've seen a character with an explosive literally up their butt about to explode like that. So I thought that actor really did a great job of portraying someone in that type of a situation. Yeah, and talking about that situation, I feel like I've heard, at least in movies, or maybe just in Indian films a lot of the time, you know, they'll say, oh, I'll put a firecracker up your ass and like blah, blah, blah. But I've never actually seen it happen. And like, I can't believe that they went there with this. And it was definitely a moment where there was a lot of peril and we were scared for him, but also it was pretty hilarious at and the same the time. And then the way they took it out with the coffee, I was like, and then you're like, ow, that's like, that's got to, I was like, I'm sure that hurt a lot less than if it actually went off. Yeah. I thought, it, I thought like chunks were literally about to blow. I'm like, remember that? <laughs> that was like a very tense situation right there. Yeah. But I guess it's not that type of movie because like whatever violence there was, it kind of, there was some, but it wasn't too over the top. And it was kind of more on the side of yeah. just comedy and it being quite absurd rather than being a lot of gratuitous violence for, you know, for no reason. Yeah, no, I agree. And I think that's what I meant earlier too, which is the point you just made is where this film really balanced out that comedy and the action. It didn't go too crazy. And I mean, it definitely was more of a comedy than an action. But yeah. again, there was that balance where like, you know, in crazy, scary situations or, uh, you know, they levitated that with, with the comedy. And I thought it like a lot of the comedy really hit and was really well timed as well. And I think the three main actors, Imran Khan, Veer Das, and Kunal Roy Kapoor, like they all worked really well together great as that. Together. Yeah, their chemistry was great and the ensemble was great. And just the characterization of each of them was very specific as well because you knew exactly who Tashi was and he had his kind of vibe, that kind of serious. Also, he looks a lot like Daniel Radcliffe. I kept thinking. <laughs> that too. I was about to say, I was like, this, he looks so much like Harry Potter. I swear, like 10 times I was about to say it, but I didn't. I didn't. Yeah, I know. As I kept soon as thinking I saw that. him, I was I, like, I literally kept thinking, Daniel, Re like the older version, I was like, is he going to play Wolverine too, this guy? But yeah, no, I kept thinking, yeah, he looks like Daniel Radcliffe. He really does. And then, like, Veer Das, I really like, I mean, he's a funny guy anyway. And so I, I really liked the kind of subtle humor that he was doing, like, just a lot of the lines, the way he delivered them, they, they, they were just so funny. And then, uh, Kunal Roy Kapoor, who played Nitin. I, he was just, you know, that slobby, slacker guy, that that friend I think we all probably know and have, and he played that to a T, and so, yeah, it was just a perfect you trio. You Veer Das, uh, I kept thinking that he looked like, uh, with his hairdo, it looked like Taika Waititi in, oh. in, in uh, what, what was uh, Green Lantern 2011, when he was uh, Ryan Reynolds' friend in that film. I don't even remember him in that movie. Uh, he was in that movie, but don't tell Taika that. I don't think he's he wants to remember he was in that <laughs> film, but I kept on thinking that, Taika Waititi, and, uh, when I kept on seeing him. He's also, I mean, that's that's not too bad, because Taika Waititi is also a really funny guy. So. Oh yeah, hysterical. So yeah, this was a lot of fun, you guys. Hope you enjoyed it. If you have any recommendations for something that Andrew might enjoy, yeah, do I comment below, and we will check it out. Uh, give Andrew a follow on his social media, and don't sub uh, forget to subscribe here, upvote this video, and we will catch you next time. I'm Achara Kirk. This is... Andrew Flash Gordon. Ciao!